Always swim with a buddy. This time my buddy was Jason. I'll put his YouTube channel in the link below. Uh, but the first thing we saw was this awesome eel. And then I saw this sea urchin shell and I just had to have it. Today we were in search of manta rays. So we hung out here for quite a while. This area on the Kona coast is known as Manta Village. And we were lucky because this little lady showed up. I say little, but she's actually grown quite a bit in the year that I have known her. Um, I believe that this is El Vicky Ray, just based on the size and the fact that her tail is just a little bit crooked. Unfortunately, she didn't stick around for long and I was only able to get this one clip of her. But when you see one manta, it's always a good sign. And sure enough, this big girl showed up shortly after she left. This is about as close as you're gonna get to a manta standing still. Mantas, like all fish, have to keep moving to keep that water and oxygen moving through their gills. So to see a manta go this slow was really special. Other than the amazing wildlife, one of my favorite things about swimming and diving and free diving is that feeling of weightlessness. It feels like you're weightless, but also like you're flying and there's no other feeling like it on earth. I hope I don't run into anybody I know. <laughs> I didn't have any clothes in my car, but I remembered that this farmer's market was right by where I was going swimming. So I wanted to Come support some local farmers and get some produce for the week and maybe get like a snack or sandwich or something. I was lucky that Yo Bagels was still serving because they usually run out pretty quick and unfortunately this is all the footage that I got of the farmer's market because I'm still a little nervous filming in public. Oh I'm in water mode. Look at this beautiful sunset. Phoebe and I are gonna do just a little bit of training and this is our view. Just love what it does to the clouds. What do you think, Phoebe? Hi, pretty girl. Yes. Can you give me a touch? Okay, let's get you some treats. Are you ready for some training? Okay. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do and work on is weight. And I'm trying to make her weight for on multiple things and to only do the okay, the release for what I want her to. So Phoebe, wait. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Very good girl. Yes, yes, very good. Okay. So, okay is her release word, and so I'm trying to look at or point at the treat that I'm allowing her to have. Just do it again. Just do it again. Wait. 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 girl and I'm also training her that she knows she needs to continue to wait ah, ah. she needs to continue to wait until she's given a release word for every single thing that she might be distracted by and this works great because in the real world she's distracted by a lot of things and so I want her to be looking at me so that she knows when she can get what okay She's really 
really good when we have two treats, but for some reason three is really difficult. Uh uh, no ma'am, leave it. Leave it. Leave it is the command where there's no release. So she just leaves it forever. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Sit. Yes. Down. Yes. Sit. Sit. Come on. <laughs> nope. <laughs> no, ma'am. That's not what we're doing. That's not what we're playing today. Come here. Sit. Yes. Good girl. Down. Yes. Good girl. And yes. Okay. I'll give it to you. She knows that yes means she did something right. Yes, you did. Sit down. Yes, good girl. Down. Yes, good girl. Sit. Phoebe, you heard me. I'm really working on saying my command once almost too playful to be play training right now. Come on, come here. Ah, hello. Yes. To run back inside to grab some supplies because I have some harvesting to do. Fresh eggs. This one got herself stuck. Did you get yourself stuck? Malabar chestnuts and I honestly haven't used them much yet but we have a tree so I'm collecting them letting them dry out and I will let you guys know if I find a good use for them apparently they're good for um, like stir frying and roasting and even grinding into a powder for bread which I don't know if I'll ever do that I decided to make some brunch with my farmer's market finds and those fresh eggs I found. So funny enough, chickens actually aren't allowed in our subdivision, domestic chickens, but we actually have wild chickens that live in our mango tree and it's awesome because we get these incredibly awesome free range farm fresh eggs. I guess they're not even farm fresh, right? They're just 100% free range, 100% self fed. I don't feed them any grain. They just eat bugs, which is another awesome thing that I love about having chickens and if you're not familiar with Hawaii and fruit trees in Hawaii 
it's really common for rats to live in fruit trees. I mean, this is, rats have no predators here, so they thrive. And they live in a lot of fruit trees because that's where the food is. And so having chickens in our mango tree is awesome because it really helps keep the rats away. Not to mention, it's like an Easter egg hunt every day <laughs> at our house. I am always poking around our yard, looking for the most recent clutch, as I believe it's called. It's a lot of fun and it's really exciting when you find them. Before I get all of you bacon fat haters commenting, <laughs> not that I even have enough subscribers to constitute a ton of hate comments, um, but I usually don't use a lot. I use it very sparingly and I, it just adds a lot of really good extra flavor. This was a vegetarian meal, so I didn't have any protein or any bacon or sausage or spam. Um, so I felt like I could accept those extra calories in this case. Um, plus I went for a really pretty vigorous swim earlier with a lot of diving. Um, and so I really needed to replenish my stores. I'm not an excellent omelet maker by any means. So do not use this video as an omelet tutorial because it's definitely not one. And I was actually kind of disappointed in the way that this omelet turned out. That little maneuver is what I should have done to the whole thing. I was still a little hungry and I had some blueberries that I really needed to use up. So I decided to go ahead and make some pancakes for meal prep for the week. These are awesome to make ahead and just pop in the toaster. jump on me. Bad girl, sit down. Hold on and wait. I almost pulled that clip out, but that's real life with a puppy. Sometimes you have to yell at them and be mean to them, and then they sit so perfectly and pretty for you that it makes you feel bad that you treated them that way. But she's got to learn. She's going to be over 100 pounds, and so it's just unacceptable for her to jump on people like that. Like 
And your favorite part. This one says it's a toy inside a toy. So once they rip this open, there's a new toy in there. There's pancakes inside. Oh. What about the pink bottle? Wow. Look how cute. Wow. Do you love it? And that's all she wrote. Thanks for watching chickens it's pretty much like Easter all the time I'm always want <clears throat> oh, oh, that sucks when your voice goes out and you're trying to voice over but that's okay because ugh. first thing Saturday morning my friend Jason and I went for a dive and saw this awesome eel but we didn't go for a dive and I'm not gonna keep this <laughs>